Good morning. How are you feeling today? I'm trying to be extra positive because I didn't get any sleep last night. It's currently super windy and really cold outside and I have zero heat. No cold weather sleeping bags and just my coat, gloves and hat and snowboarding gear. I had a split boarding trip planned for this weekend. So I got my propane tank completely filled up, ready to go. So I'd have a nice, warm, cozy camper. I went to sleep last night. I woke up in the middle of the night, freezing my tootsies off. There was no heat. And I was like, what the heck is going on? <sighs> so I put on my hat and my gloves and my coat. I don't have my cold weather sleeping bag or anything other than my normal blankets and pillows because I didn't plan on this being a problem. Went outside to my propane tank and it's empty. Come to find there are these slits in my propane tank hose. What's up with that? No more propane. Not only is my whole propane tank wasted and gone, I have zero heat and my split boarding trip is now postponed or canceled because I have to go get this fixed. But I'm not gonna let it ruin my day. It is currently blizzarding outside, but I'm gonna go meet my friend at the resort. We're gonna go snowboarding. She's gonna help me record. And then while there's still some daylight left, I'm gonna go in and get a new one of these babies, get my propane tank filled and reestablish heat in this camper. I don't know about you, but I don't like to feel like a popsicle, but that's just me. Okay, so let's do this. I thought we were all good, but I was wrong. Tried to go skiing and well, there's risk of avalanche, the roads closed, everything looks great. They're calling for four feet of snow, took an hour to get there, waited in line for an hour and then they closed the resort. Now we're stuck on the pass, waiting for the snow plows and they're blasting to prevent avalanche and it's blizzarding. But don't worry. I made it. Then the storm started to clear and the sun came out and reminded me of how beautiful the world is and how lucky I am to live in it. And as much as I wanted to stick around, it was time to call it a day and head back down and fix my heating situation. Here you can see my lovely hose that has seen better days. With just a couple twists and turns and the help of a crescent wrench, I was good as new. Look at that quality work. Now I just have to test the seal with some soapy water and I should be good to go. Now that I've fixed my hose, I've got a full blast on the heater going and it feels great. Oh, and I hear my water boiling. Nothing like a warm cup of my secret coffee I've been working on after a long day of snowboarding. More details on that later. So while we're on the topic of maintenance, I also wanted to talk about something really important in truck campers and RVs, and that's a carbon monoxide and propane monitor. Let's check mine out. So everyone should have one of these carbon monoxide and propane monitors in their truck camper or RV, but they don't last forever. It may look a little bit different. Every manufacturer has a different amount of time that it needs to be switched out. Mine is 60 months, but yours may not be. It's really easy to forget about because you don't always have carbon monoxide leaks. In the circumstance you do, it's really important that yours is working because if you're sleeping in the middle of the night like I was and something was to happen, <sighs> Bad news bears, just make sure that yours is functioning and, and that you test it every so often. There should be a test button on it to make sure it works. Pro tips from the pro. So if you don't mind me, I'm gonna kick back, relax, and drink my coffee. But on a final note, I've been thinking about taking a winter extreme camping trip and go split boarding out in the Sierras. 
probably at least seven to 9,000 feet. We're talking tent, sleeping bag, and fire. No truck camper. So make sure you stay tuned because it should definitely be an adventure. Cheers.